Our out of this world lead is way out of this world, 390 light years away. In fact, for context, one light year is equivalent to six trillion miles. In the relentless pursuit of unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, humanity has embarked on a quest that transcends time itself, seeking answers to the age-old questions that linger in the fabric of existence. Intriguingly, the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, has just detected a glimpse of a structure that predates the birth of stars, a celestial object that appeared to be older than the universe itself. This discovery raises more questions than it answers. But how possible could a structure be older than our universe, or is the Big Bang Theory at fault? Join us as we embark on an odyssey, guided by the revelations of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion year old structure await, and the journey to unravel the cosmic mysteries has only just begun. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light years away, there exists an ancient star called HD 140283, nestled near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past some 12 billion years ago. Imagine a time when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, absorbing a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 140283 isn't just its speedy journey, but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing moniker Methuselah Star similar to the biblical figure Methuselah, who, legend has it, lived for 969 years. Initial estimates pegged its age at a staggering 16 billion years, but the latest calculations suggest a slightly younger 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This age revelation puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, deduced from the cosmic microwave background, hovers around 13.8 billion years. The conundrum raised important questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Figuring out how old stuff in spaces can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance, like the sun. They're like eternal light bulbs, keeping their glow, temperature, and size for billions of years. This makes them tricky to age date. Astronomers play cosmic detectives, using changes in brightness and color as clues. They match these with models predicting how stars change over time. One age giveaway is how fast a star twirls. Like a wheel slowing down from friction, stars do too. By comparing the spinning speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers figured out a cool trick called gyrochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic gossip. Flares and bursts of energy on a star's surface are like a star's youthful enthusiasm. As stars age, this show slows down. Astronomers, being the space sleuths they are, use advanced techniques like asteroseismology. It's like eavesdropping on a star's inner conversations, listening to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its insides. These vibrations spill the beans on a star's age. For instance, applying this cosmic eavesdropping, astronomers roughly clock the sun at 4.58 billion years. Now, let's revisit Methuselah's star. The ancient aura around it isn't just random. Astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much bling or heavy elements like iron they have. Our sun is a bit of a metalhead, belonging to the Population 1 stars. Methuselah's star, on the other hand, is like an old-school rock star from Population 2, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's this stellar bling count that helps astronomers play cosmic archaeologists, deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. Now imagine a group of stars, the theoretical Population 3, which scientists believe might be like the universe's rare gems. While they're still hiding backstage and haven't made an appearance in our telescope spotlight, astronomers suspect these stars might be the rock stars of minimalism, containing almost no heavy elements. To understand this stellar lineup, let's rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Imagine a cosmic kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, like the universe's basic ingredients. About 92% hydrogen and 8% helium, or if we weigh them, roughly 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. Now, in this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were the Population 3 stars. 
They were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel swiftly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were the Population II stars, forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were light on heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. Finally, the Population I stars, including our Sun, emerge as cosmic latecomers. They formed from enriched gas clouds, mingling with remnants from the earlier Population II stars. Some of these Population II stars also went out with a bang, contributing more heavy elements to the cosmic recipe. Now, the big question, does this stellar story throw a cosmic curveball at the Big Bang Theory? It's a head-scratcher, but here's the twist. Considering the uncertainties, there's a 70% chance that Methuselah's star, the ancient celestial wanderer, could be somewhere between 13.66 and 15.36 billion years old. The lower end even aligns with the age of the entire universe. And there's a 30% chance that this ancient celestial wanderer's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not just a little outside the box but even younger. Imagine it like rolling a regular six-sided dice and hoping for that elusive six statistically plausible, right? But regardless of these cosmic curveballs, what's certain is that Methuselah's star is not just a cosmic veteran, it's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's pretty darn precise. Now, here's where it gets mind-bending. Instead of scratching our heads about whether Methuselah's star could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Wrapping our minds around 13.8 billion years is like trying to fathom the vastness of space itself. If we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most spectacular New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the celestial bash until the last seconds of December 31st. Human recorded history? Well, that's merely a blip in time, covering just the last 10 seconds. Our stellar detectives determine the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight born a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. As the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens. A cosmic whisper from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rajendra Gupta from the University of Ottawa brings in a vintage theory from 1929 crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles called photons journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now, fasten your seatbelts because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 26.7 billion years is no small feat. Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with the concept of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over the eons. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was just a mere 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our cosmic math. Doubling the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our cosmic understanding. But let's pause for a moment. Whether this new perspective becomes the cosmic norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether humanity's recorded history is a mere blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand scheme of the universe, one thing's clear. The cosmos is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. Shifting our gaze to our cosmic backyard, the Milky Way, there's a captivating cosmic tango at play. Recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? 
Well, there are a couple of theories and one whisper that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter, the elusive substance influencing the gravitational dance of celestial objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see, but that seems to play a gravitational tug of war in the cosmos. One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been looking at dark matter the wrong way. Our cosmic compass might be pointing in the wrong direction. Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the cosmic spotlight. It's like our cosmic detective, providing intricate details about the dance of nearly 2 billion stars in our Milky Way. Think of it as a galactic choreography lesson. The satellite's precise measurements have led astronomers to rethink their cosmic choreography notes. Stars at the outer edges of our Milky Way seem to be taking it slow, challenging our old assumptions about their speeds. Now how do stars' speeds spill the cosmic beans about a galaxy's weight? It's like gauging the size of a crowd by how fast people are moving. Astronomers, armed with Gaia's data, estimated the combined weight of our galaxy's gas, dust, stars, and that elusive dark matter to be around 200 billion times our sun. It sounds like a cosmic heavyweight, but here's the plot twist. It's about five times less than we thought. One theory to untangle this cosmic riddle suggests we might have been a bit heavy-handed with our dark matter estimates. Maybe, just maybe, there's less dark matter out there than we previously assumed. It's like finding out there are fewer ingredients in your cosmic soup than you thought. But hold on, weighing a galaxy is like nailing jelly to a wall. Notoriously tricky. The Gaia data might have a few quirks, or our cosmic measuring tape might need some adjustments. Still, multiple research teams have joined the celestial investigation, and they all seem to be humming the same cosmic tune. If this cosmic revelation holds, it's like opening a new chapter in our cosmic physics textbook. A revolution that might make us rethink not just our own Milky Way, but every star-studded corner of the universe. As Stacy McGaw, an astronomer at Case Western Reserve University, puts it, this could be a cosmic game-changer. Take a cosmic journey back to the 1970s when astronomer Vera Rubin and her cosmic crew set out on a stellar adventure. Their mission, studying how stars groove in other galaxies. Now, the cosmic playbook suggested that stars on the outskirts of a galaxy should be cosmic slowpokes compared to the zippy stars near the center. You know, like how Neptune takes its sweet time circling the sun while Mercury is the cosmic speedster. Here's where the plot twists. Rubin and her stargazing squad uncovered a cosmic surprise. Stars at the far reaches of galaxies were strutting their stuff at nearly the same speed as the ones closer to the cosmic dance floor. Imagine a galactic disco where everyone, no matter where they are, is moving to the same beat. This cosmic revelation hinted at the existence of something mysterious and hidden. With Dark Matter, the invisible heavyweight champion that forms these massive halos around galaxies. Now, zooming in on our cosmic backyard, the Milky Way. Imagine trying to keep tabs on everything in your room while being inside it. Tricky, right? Astronomers faced a similar cosmic challenge, assuming that the Milky Way's stars played by the same rules as those in other galaxies. For instance, our Sun, residing about 26,000 light-years from the galactic heart, whizzes around at 800,000 kilometers per hour. The Gaia satellite launched in 2013. It's like our precision cosmic ruler, measuring the positions and groovy moves of Milky Way stars in three dimensions. The data it's been sending back is like a cosmic symphony, gradually refining its precision over time. The theoretical physicist Francesco Silos Labini and his cosmic detectives from the Enrico Fermi Study and Research Center in Italy. They noticed subtle hints of a stellar slowdown a few years back, and with Gaia's latest data drop in 2022, these hints became cosmic fireworks. The new data is twice as exact as the data in 2018. Astronomers now wield improved tools to trace star paths with laser precision, reaching cosmic distances that were once a bit fuzzy. In the Celestial Theater of 2023, four separate research papers have unveiled a celestial surprise. Stars, up to a whopping 100,000 light years from the Milky Way's heart, seem to be taking it slow. It's like the stars are hitting the brakes in a Keplerian decline, reminiscent of the planetary ballet Johannes Kepler described centuries ago. Meanwhile, in other galactic tales, stars generally follow a similar rhythm, dancing from the center to the outer edges at comparable speeds. 
It's a cosmic choreography orchestrated by the gravitational pull of dark matter. But hold on, the Milky Way seems to be the rebel dancer in this cosmic ball. No other galaxy has shown this particular slowdown, as pointed out by Francois Hammer from the Paris Observatory. This cosmic revelation isn't just shaking up our stellar dance floor, it's challenging a fundamental cosmic principle. Cosmology usually says, no spot in the universe is more special than another. However, the Milky Way, with its stellar slowdown, might be donning the cosmic crown. Now, earlier cosmic math suggested our Milky Way was a heavyweight, boasting a mass of around 200 billion suns. But here's the twist. Recent recalculations put it at a significant 200 billion solar masses. Astronomers are pretty confident about their visible material measurements, about 60 billion solar masses. Crunching these numbers, if both figures hold water, it paints a cosmic picture where the dark matter to ordinary matter ratio is just 2.3 to 1. That's far less than the cosmic norm seen in galaxies of similar stature. However, some researchers think there might be more to this celestial slowdown story. It's like reading a book and sensing there's an unwritten chapter waiting to be discovered. The Milky Way might be holding more cosmic secrets than we've uncovered so far. They've been peering into the cosmic unknown with the Gaia satellite, our space-age Sherlock Holmes, offering high-precision details about stars up to a certain cosmic distance. But there's a twist. Beyond Gaia's cosmic magnifying glass, there's a cosmic frontier waiting to be explored, and scientists believe the stellar drama might take a surprising turn. Astrophysicist Lena Nassib from MIT, one of the cosmic sleuths, suggests that stars farther out, beyond Gaia's cosmic grasp, might be staging their stellar speed show. It's like an intergalactic balancing act. If some stars are slowing down, others might be revving up in the cosmic race. Lena Nassib has a hunch that the cosmic show might have more surprises up its celestial sleeve. To add cosmic spice to the mix, there's the enigmatic Large Magellanic Cloud, a galactic companion orbiting the Milky Way around 160,000 light years away. This cosmic sidekick is behaving just as expected, dancing to the tunes of standard dark matter models at a staggering speed of over 650,000 meters per hour. It's like a reliable cosmic dancer following the universal steps. Then there are stellar remnants, the celestial echoes of smaller galaxies and star clusters that got a bit too close to our Milky Way and ended up torn apart by its gravitational prowess. These stellar streams paint a cosmic picture in line with the hefty approximations, adding another layer to the cosmic mystery. However, in the cosmic detective agency, skepticism is a guiding star. Astronomer Robin Sanderson from the University of Pennsylvania creates virtual Milky Ways on a computer, mimicking what Gaia might see. She points out that these cosmic plots hinge on certain assumptions, like the shape of the Milky Way's dark matter distribution, which could sway the results. She urges caution in drawing solid conclusions from the current cosmic clues. The tale doesn't end here. Our cosmic explorers are gearing up for future missions. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, with its watchful eye set on the stars, might unfold more celestial secrets from the Milky Way's outer reaches. Gaia, the cosmic informant, plans a grand reveal in late 2025, armed with even more precise information. In our cosmic quest, researcher Hammer is excited to peek at other galaxies and check if their stars slow down like in our Milky Way. It's like exploring space neighborhoods for a similar stellar show. This exploration is a normal part of science, a bit like putting together a puzzle where patience is key. The universe is like a huge library of mysteries, from our nearby solar system to the farthest cosmic corners. Imagine ancient astronomers scratching their heads over comets and stars. Those were the cosmic puzzles of the past. Despite our high-tech tools like computers and space observatories, we're still cosmic detectives, with about 95% of the universe wrapped in mystery. It's like having most of the puzzle pieces missing. Think about early astronomers like Copernicus and Kepler. We've learned a lot since then, but we're still the newcomers, staring wide-eyed at cosmic wonders, trying to solve the universe's secrets. Our Earth is like a tiny island in the vast sea of space, swirling around the sun with a bunch of stars in our little galaxy. Our quest for meaning among the stars is the core of scientific exploration. Even when answers surprise us, this curiosity keeps us journeying into the cosmos. It's an endless adventure where every answer brings new questions, making sure our cosmic exploration never stops.
Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for